Hello, my name is Ankita and I work in Cisco as a Firepower Tech Engineer. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure URL filtering on Firepower devices. To begin with, let's see what are the prerequisites for the configuration of URL filtering. So as you see in the slide, there are two points. First, the device should have valid URL filtering license and second, the URL database cloud should be updated. One thing which should be kept in mind is that you should have connectivity to the bright cloud services as well. So now let's see these two things. So I have a management center which is in version 5.4. So let's see how to check whether the device is having valid license. So here we can see that the device is having valid URL filtering license. Now let's check the connectivity part. So I have a management center ready. Let's SSH into it. Now we need to check whether we are able to tell into the bright cloud services. So yes, telnet to database.brightcloud.com on port 443 is working fine. Yes, so tell it to both database.brightcloud.com and service to brightcloud.com on port 80 is working. Now let's check whether the cloud database is updated. Let's go to system, local, configuration. Click on cloud services. Make sure enable URL filtering and automatic updates are checked. Update now. Okay, so it shows the most recent update. So from the GUI, we can check it from this option. And from the CLI, if you want to check whether URL database cloud is updated, we can check it through this me. Okay, so here you can see that we have full Bright Cloud database file in this cloud download directory, which tells us that it has taken all the database from the cloud properly. So we can check simultaneously on the sensor or the Firepower module which you are managing that uh, Defense Center has actually pushed this update to the sensor or not. Yes, so if you see the size of the file is also pretty much the same on both the management center and the sensor. So this was about the URL database cloud updation. So uh, since I'm on 5.4 version, if you're running 6.0 version, which is the recent one, so you will be getting the same option to check in the GUI in System Integration Cisco CSI tab. So that will be the only change from the configuration point of view. So that is all about the prerequisite for configuration. Now let's go to the configuration part. So we have covered the prerequisite. Now let's go to the configuration. So here we can see there are three steps for the configuration of URL filtering. First, you have to configure URL objects or group under object management. Second, you have to call that object group in the access control policy. And third, you have to apply or deploy the target policy onto the target device. So let's see how it goes. 
Okay, let's just first create the objects first. Object, object management. Uh, we will take the scenario, let's say, to block Facebook or any other social networking site. So we will create the object for Facebook URL and then we will see whether we are able to block Facebook or not. Click on URL tab individual objects or object group so individual objects is used when you have single URL entry you want to call an object group will come into picture when you have multiple URLs for the same category and you want to combine them into one particular group so uh, like I have Facebook URL already added let's say I will add one more URL I'll add, name it Twitter So we have added the URL object. Now let's go to the second step, which is the policy. So I have the default access control policy in which I have to create a rule for the Twitter. Go to URL. Call the object created. Set the action to block. Enable logging as well. So that we can see the corresponding events on the Defense Center. So the rule is added. Make sure that whenever you are adding a rule, make sure that it is the specific rules are above the general rules. Because if you create specific rules below any allow or trust rule, which is by default allowing all the traffic, then this particular rule won't be hit. So like we have two rules over here, Facebook block and block Twitter. So now we will apply the changes to the target device. So we have covered the configuration part and pretty much the configuration on ASTM will also be same if you are managing the Firepower module using ASTM and you are not having the Firepower Management Center. So the configuration remains the same. So now uh, let's check how we can verify that uh, whatever URL filtering rule we have created is actually coming into picture. So we have two ways from where we can check that our rule is correct. So first is on the defense center or from the power power management center. We can check from the connection events if the rule is correctly hit and the URL is properly blocked or allowed. And second from the CLI of the firepower device, we can see whether it is hitting the correct rule. So uh, let's go to the GUI first. So now let's initiate some traffic from the test machine for twitter.com and see whether we are hitting the right policy and whether the website is being allowed or blocked. So here is my test machine. Let's open twitter.com. Mm -hmm. Seems to be working fine. Let's try any other website which we have already allowed. So if I see the corresponding events on the GUI, we will see that the twitter.com website is having the action as blocked and it is also hitting the right policy. So if you want to check the details, check, click here. Table view of connection events. So this will basically show us that which policy, which access control rule, which network policy is the with the traffic primarily taking so that we can be confirmed of whether we are hitting the right one or not. So if we see, yes, so it's taking block Twitter policy as per configured. 
So this was the first point where we can check the traffic from the connection events from the management center. Now we can also see from the CLI if we are hitting the right policy or not. So now let's see the sensor CLI. So using this command, you can monitor the traffic on the device itself. Put the client IP, the protocol, if you want to filter it more, or just load the client IP and see whether it is hitting the correct policy. We'll start monitoring for the message. Let's initiate some traffic again. So if we see here, it starts with matching the rule from top to bottom. So it first checks the Facebook block rule and it checks the block Twitter rule and takes action depending upon that. So this confirms that we are hitting the right policy and hence the URL filtering is working as expected. So this pretty much covers the configuration and basic troubleshooting. Thank you for watching this video. So basically in this video we have covered all the concepts of the configuration of URL filtering and a basic troubleshooting. Thank you.